weeks. It was my first time in the home alone. Mm. And I went to bed. And maybe 10 or 15 minutes later, I heard a man running up the stairs. Like boom, 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 the weight, the creaking. And I was just like, okay, that's it. It just wasn't the sound of footsteps. It was the actual creaking of the stairs too. I can't even describe how scary it is. It was just so unnerving and so absolutely terrifying. So what I ended up doing is starting to record a diary of everything that was happening in the house. And then almost every single night, there was something, and it started becoming more and more obvious. February 15th, February 16th, March 9th, April 7th, April 17th. I felt increasingly uncomfortable. It sounded like a heavy piece of wood or furniture being dragged. It was a man's voice, and he sounded stern, like I was annoying him. This is one of the things we were all really impressed with, is the fact that you've only been in here a few months, and you've had the wherewithal to start journaling yeah. your experiences. I mean, yep. that's something we wish every client yep. had, because it just gives us such a head start. Mustafa, you guys will be the first to go in. Uh, why don't you check out the second floor? Extremely loud sounds. Good information so far, for sure. Whoa. What? What happened? What's up? It sounded like three step bump, bump. Whoa, whoa, right here? Yeah, but if we're getting oh, a temperature change. Oh, temperature drop. Temperature's dropping. Huh. Temperature did drop. That's strange. Climb yeah. up and down and see if there's a delay as it pops back into place. All right, That's I want to do Listen. Mm -mm. No, wait. Give it a minute. Right here. One of the biggest claims that Susan has is someone walking and running up the staircase. And Kendall, our cameraman, heard footsteps coming down that staircase. Whoa. OK. And we got a temperature drop. So uh, I want to take three data loggers and set them in succession on the staircase. If there's something happening on that staircase, these data loggers should pick it up. So I'll walk past it so you can see. So the bottom lights are indicating vibrations. So you can see. See that? Wow. Right? Very cool. Let's give it a shot, right? Why not? Let's do it, brother. Oh, oh pressure, pressure spike. spike. There we go. Right See there at the top, top of the step. step. <laughs> I was literally talking about the boring things we do, and then it goes off. Second, second step. Just second step. Pressure. Okay, see, this is the pattern, dude. Okay, excellent. This is exactly why I set these up this way. Yeah. This right here to me is going with the theory that you and I have been talking about. Yep. Paths traveled. Mm -hmm. Look at this. What are the odds? If there was, like, an environmental change in this room, all three would have gone off. Yeah. At the same time. Like, it wouldn't have been the top step, then the second step. You know what I mean? We believe that the paranormal activity you have here is a residual haunting. And a residual haunting is like a movie mm -hmm. playing by itself. There's no interaction. It's going to play whether you're there or not. The theory goes that at some point in this house's history, someone ran up those stairs. Yeah. And when the conditions are right, that can play back. What really makes us believe that this is residual is an experiment that Brandon thought of. So I decided to bring in three data loggers and set them on the staircase. One, two, three, on the stairs. And uh, we had some pretty cool results that I'd like to show you. OK. Sorry. Oh, oh pressure strike. Pressure strike. See, See, the top one is oh, right yeah. That indicates a pressure change. Second one? Yeah. Uh, so what's interesting is night one, our cameraman, Kindle on this exact staircase mm -hmm. heard the, the steps coming yeah. down, right? So since this was successful here, we decided to continue to go up the staircase oh, as great. well. Because I just feel <laughs> We get excited. <laughs> Temperature drop is pressure spike. Oh, wait, wait. Oh, oh my gosh. Oh. Whoa. 
And that's the second to the third floor, right? Mm -hmm. Wow. And it goes along with your experiences yeah. here, hearing the footsteps. It's a path that has been traveled, and it seems in some way that path is still being traveled, and we were lucky enough to document that through the environmental wow. changes. Hey, Ghost Hunters fans. Be sure to subscribe to the A&E YouTube channel for more paranormal content, and catch full episodes on A&E or AETV.com.